Alright, as promised, I'm going to do a video run-through of the diamond store for my pals. We just had the big score update, of course. Really liking this heist on here now because it still doesn't pay a great amount, but for the time that you play it, it does give a very nice amount of XP, and it's something you can solo pretty easily by yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Without further ado. Uh, you could get body bags here, not necessary really, if you do it right. I mean, the way I'm going to do it, again, I'm going to murder a lot of civvies. So, uh, no worries, and you definitely don't need expert driver if you're going to stealth it. Alright, so, I would always, pretty much always recommend to make your life easier, you go left. Hopefully there's a door here, there certainly is. The camera guy, you can take him out quick, even if there's a civvy that stands right there. They will never see you behind that pillar. Sometimes there's a camera right here over my head where I was looking up. Um, if you go for this door, obviously shoot that camera first. Even on uh, Death Wish, they won't be the Titan camera, so you can shoot it. But once you do that, you want to kind of hurry in that case. Beat this guy, get his pager. He almost always falls forward uh, unless you're using a shotgun. But I've never been caught um, whenever people walk by like that. Like, didn't even see me. You do shoot that camera out there after you answer the pager. They will you almost always send a guard out to go check on it. So, you'll have to uh, get him out there, take care of him. I would recommend letting him get as close to the door as possible so you don't shoot him out in the middle of the road and fail a mission like I just did earlier. Although not that way. It was something probably even more stupid. Alright, so next usually get up pretty easily into the back area and start taking out your guards and your manager. Cameras obviously help. Uh, fast lock picking is a nice thing to have here. It's not necessary. Um, you go over to this side to pick the lock, you won't be spotted, in my experience, by anybody walking down there. Alright, so... Ah, manager. It's a good spot for her. Down on the ground. Get her down quickly. That hostage will cost them time. Come along now. We'll move her this way. You don't want to go too far because people will, down on the floor will see her through the glass. Uh, that should be okay. I'm putting her. Well, I thought it would be okay. Let's move her a little bit. Okay, that will be okay. Very scary. Fucking missed my first shot. That's okay. Um, ideally, I like to kill these guards this deep in the hallway anyway, because uh, if you play this, sometimes you know they'll come up two or three at a time, so the further back, the better. God, my aim is terrible. All right, well, we might do this with zero body bags used. You can do this pretty cleanly with just one. Obviously, two is even better. I will use one body bag just to move this guy to buy myself time. Um, it's not ideal if there's a body right here and they come up those stairs and see it. So back here he has to at least get around the corner, or any guard that comes up has to get around the corner. So there we go. Buy ourselves a little extra room. Um, sometimes the manager will be in this room or a guard. Be very careful as you kill them because when a guard walks up those stairs, uh, sometimes they can spot you. So now... Playing solo, it's better safe than sorry just to wait up here. There's only one guard left, obviously took out the cameras. Two of the roaming guards, there's only three ever who roam. So if you wanted, I have the manager's key card, I could go find the keypad. It can be in either of these offices. The camera room or the base of these stairs, right there. But instead of running around, since I've got this guy here, and especially if you're doing this in an early build where you don't have two body bags, you obviously kind of need to babysit. So now we just wait for this jerk. He might be a nice man, actually, I don't know, but... Whenever he doesn't come up to die. Funny how our principles change. You'll see from his angle, you can see... They can actually see, even though it doesn't look like he's looking at us right through here, which is why you want to be careful. I'm going to let him get a little further down and then not miss with this shot. 
All right, I'm a smooth talker, smooth operator on the pager. Okay, so guards are done. That's very easy, and like I said, you only need one body bag. And actually, this particular case, I may have not needed it, but why, you know, why take the chance? Uh, okay, I saw that earlier. Grab that. I don't actually 100% know where all the packages are in this level. I will probably get them all, but I can't help you with that. So, okay, both offices, there is not the key panel. But in here, you can actually get in this little area with probably low enough detection. Even, probably not even that low. And be fine. I, I'm not even getting a question mark. So at the base of the stairs is where that is. That's not terrible. It's probably the worst. I mean, it's definitely the worst spot for it, but it's easily workable, as you'll see. So now, by my count, there are always nine civvies outside the store. And they can be in the front, they can be sitting in the back, or roaming. So if you can get them like in a safe spot like this security room, then certainly do that. That's somebody... Oh, it's a statue. That was somebody, like, levitating. Anyway, um, but... You should be able to move quickly enough to uh, cover a lot of mistakes in this part. This is... Pretty low stress. Okay, now here's where zip ties will help. It will save you a lot of money. Apparently my stealth is very strong. Down on the ground! Down! Oh my god. Okay. On the ground. On the ground. Get down, honey. Down on the ground. Okay. Down. Right, your speed comes in. Down. And stay down. She don't really need it. But okay, so right there, pretty easy. Four in one swoop. Down on the ground. That five. Don't move. <clears throat> I just shot so loud, and it's like nobody ever hears me. So I'm going to move these people over so they're all this way, just kind of in a cluster. Really not necessary, but it will give me less ground to cover in the future. Oh my goodness. Come along now. This woman's brains. She has a rare disorder where her brains are in her wrists, and I accidentally cuffed her, or Come tied her now. too tight, cutting off vital oxygen, destroying motor functions. I'm out of ties now, and like I said, I'm going to be killing people, so the first victim. Try to let that one get as close to this little safe zone as possible. The walker across the street. So six. Seven over there. You can go kill him if you want. He will obviously loop back around. I definitely recommend kind of at least having an idea how many walkers you have. Like, sounds like The Walking Dead. Oh my goodness. Before you move on to one of the next parts, uh, just because it would be kind of crappy to be stuck over in another part of the level. Okay, there's seven. Excuse me, eight. Eight, I'll do one more check over here. Or civilian in the alley. Oh, never mind. Found me. Get down, sir. Get down. Actually, wait. Never mind. Sorry. Thank you for following orders. With only one left, right. I am going to go ahead and move over to the car shop. Another part that's very easy. Don't break any glass or do anything loud. Cheer and. Sometimes you can see where the civvy is. Uh, if you're taking care of this guy and you see a question mark pop up at another part of the map, don't worry, you almost definitely have time to get over there. Even if they're in that far back alley. Ah, wait. There we go. Okay, so eight, nine are in the front. Nice and easy, and I probably took a little too much time. Oh well. So next, um, I'm out of ties. I don't want to... I mean, I'm assuming you guys don't want to bother with making sure they stay down with Control Freak by shooting your loud gun. And I don't actually have a loud gun on this build, so I'm going to take out the lobby, essentially. And there's those two out in the front. You'll have enough time to do all of it. 
I have ECM jammers, but I'm not even going to use them. No worries there. Most important thing, don't throw the grenade if you haven't hit that thing. And that's very easy to forget. But, waltz in. Hit it. Grenade. Oops, did ever. So just Down. yell, shoot, blah blah blah. See where you are. Sorry everybody, I really am. Alright, and there you go. Very violent, very bloody, but that's that. Um, I will almost definitely speed this next part up because it's all bag moving at this point. Actually, I would recommend just so you don't so you're multitasking. <clears throat> Check in here for that. This class I have the upgraded drills. You don't need them at all because everybody's either tied up or dead. But, you know, just for my own sanity, not having to wait that long. Pretty nice. It can be as safe in here sometimes. Hidden package as well. Obviously, I've been picking those up along the way. Sometimes there can be one there. And there seems like there's almost always one here. And like I said, souped up drills aren't necessary, but instead of waiting 35 minutes and having them break down every six seconds, now you only have to wait like 28 minutes and have them break down once every like two minutes. A worthwhile trade-off. And, you know, whatever, there's no right way or wrong way to move bags, so however you want to do that. Uh, another nice thing about this heist, there aren't too many uh, curveballs they can throw your way. Um, some stealth missions, uh, I mean there's a couple variables in the bank heist, but that one's not, you know, those aren't really too difficult once you kind of know what you're doing. Uh, other ones like the Hawks, or uh, <clears throat> Bomb Dockyard or Shadow Raid might have a little more variables to those. But this one's pretty, pretty similar. you're really hurting for money, you can take, you know, the ghost skills that give you more money for free loot, but honestly, over the long haul, it's pretty negligible. Not much there. Not bad. Um, this whole line, if you're looking for packages, this whole line, just scan all that money bag 17 bags is not too bad I think I've maybe 19 or 20 is the most I've seen but that's probably very lucky uh, another nice thing about not using your ECMs of course you get the money or hacking a jammer. Alright, so there's one more package. I'm not actually even going to worry about that. So, step out. 21 minutes is not bad, but like I said, I've done it in much less than 20. Decent payout. Very nice XP for a short amount of time. It's something you can do by yourself. You don't mind murdering people. I do, but, you know... I have to reconcile that every time I play this heist. It's very traumatic. Let it count up. There you go. 459. I think I've gotten, with the right setup of stealth bonuses and stuff, well over 500, close to 600,000. Is very nice. Alright. Later.